Hello and welcome to the video for what is flow control, the switch node. I've gone ahead and created a quick example here. Basically, I have a drop down box, and depending on the text we choose, we have a different piece of text displayed. We are using a switch node in order to do this. Now, the switch node itself, there are actually three of them. There is a switch on string, switch on int, and then a switch on enum. We're going to cover all three of those in short depth. So for a switch on string, we have an input, execute wire, we have an input string, and then we have outputs for each of our outputs that we choose. The switch on string itself is configured in our detail panel on what we want to switch on. So for example, I've created four elements, one with each of my names, and you can cl simply click the plus, or you can delete and move in order to have one switch for each of your strings. You can also change the if it's case sensitive and if it has a default pin. The default pin basically will fire if it doesn't match any of these. Think of it as your fail safe. So for example, since I know what is coming in based on our combo box, I know what is coming out which will be Manny, Mo, Jack, or Curly. And that's it. Combo box says, okay, here's Manny. Switch on string goes, okay, what's our string? Oh, it's Manny, okay, execute the Manny wire. And that's it. It basically allows you to have one set of input, and based on that, in a nice, easily readable text format, you can actually choose what you want to do. Switch on int is basically the same thing, except these are not text. It is an integer that comes in and an integer that fires out. You have your default pin as well. You can change the starting index. Let's say, for example, it started at 101. Well, then it would start at 101, and each one would be incremented by one. And you can use the add pin to add additional outputs. Switch on enum is actually a little bit different. This will take a enumerator, or an enum, as the input, and then automatically populate the outputs based on our input. So I have our generic enum, which has four inputs, permanent, temp, contract, and intern. And as you can see, we have permanent, temp, contract, and intern as our outputs. If we wanted to switch on a different type, you will find all the default ones. Let's go with orientation, for example. And you'll notice this has horizontal and vertical. And our outputs are horizontal and vertical. And it works exactly the same way as the string. You have your input execute wire your input enum, and then the outputs based on the enum type. That's it. Switches are a great way of getting a fixed set of information in and based on the information, deciding on what you want to do.